Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to review a new palette from Tarte. It's the Wipeout Color Correcting Palette. And I did apply this palette on my face today, every color in here, to color correct and contour my face. So if you're interested in seeing a review and demo of this new palette, then just keep on watching. So the palette just comes in this packaging as part of the Rainforest of the Sea collection. Everything has this like purple look to it. And it did come with a instruction guide and I didn't see this until I used it already, but on the back of the box it has a little bit of a smaller one. So this is just the same size as the other Tarte Circle palettes and now I feel like I need to have all of them. The only one I'm missing is the powder contour palette. So just like the other Circle palettes, this has a really good size mirror and it comes with six shades. It has two concealers, a highlighting shade, a darkness correcting, a redness correcting, and a contour shade. So here are all six shades in the palette. You can tell the concealer shades are a bit dark, so I did end up mixing them with the highlight shade, as you'll see in the demo, but everything else is spot on the color that you need. I was kind of concerned about this orange shade. It is super dark and pigmented, and I'm only used to using like a peachy corrector, but it actually blended out really nicely, and this contour shade is absolutely perfect. It's not too warm. It does look a little bit orange, but it's definitely not too warm. I think it blended out really naturally. And all of the colors are super pigmented and super creamy and super blendable. I cannot stress that enough. Usually cream products can be a little sticky or a little too heavy, but these blended out really nicely without being slippery either. So they're definitely products that are gonna stay in place, but they're really easy to blend out. So I feel like I always find like either or, like either it's really hard to blend out or it's just like you put it on your face and it's just slipping and sliding all over the place and you definitely do not want that when you're contouring and you want to be precise you don't want it to like be running down your face and you don't even know what is going on or what your bone structure is anymore because it's just all over the place so this is definitely a perfect formula so i'm going to go ahead into the demo so you can see exactly how i apply all the shades and it got my contour to look how it does today so all I have on my skin right now is the makeup forever hydrating primer which is basically just a moisturizer it doesn't have like any silicone in it so I think I'll start off with the first shade which is for correcting under your eyes or just correcting any dark circles and I have not used a corrector this pigmented in this dark like I just started using a peach corrector I don't know how intense my dark circles are. It's always been a struggle, but like, I don't know if it's like that serious, but I'm sure this will blend out easily. It's actually a lot smoother than my pixie corrector. I think my pixie corrector is a little bit thicker. So that looks lovely. And I'm gonna leave everything on my face and then blend it just for like that dramatic effect of like a clown contouring look. I'm going to go in with the green shade. It's this like really pretty minty shade. It's a number two shade and I'm going to cover up all of the redness, all these blemishes. I'm going to do a lot to my nose. I couldn't tell because I've got some redness. Then I'm going to go in and highlight and contour. I probably should have read the instructions. There is a little instruction things on the back. But I did see Nicole Concilio. I think that's how you say her name. She was promoting this palette on Sephora's website. And she did a quick little demo with it. So the yellow shade is for highlighting. And I might have to go in with this like twice. Because I think I'll blend out some of the green. And then I'll go back in and highlight some more. And this is actually just feeling super creamy. Just picking it up with my fingertips. And this is, I've never really done too much cream contouring or cream correcting. I've done cream contouring, but not so much correcting. Let's do a little eyebrow. The only other correcting palette that I have is the NYX one, the cream, I can't see myself, the cream NYX one that I got maybe a year ago. And those contour creams are so thick you cannot blend them out but this is going on really smooth you know what I'm gonna do my cheekbone I'm gonna go everywhere and I know I'm gonna use a lightweight foundation so I could see the effects of this blend out the correcting and then after I do I'm gonna do foundation and I'll do the cream contouring on top of that I'm using a morphe foundation brush and I think I'll probably go in with my beauty blender afterwards but I only have 
one beauty blender and I didn't want it to get covered in orange and then do my foundation. I'm going to use my fingertips for a lot of the rest of my face and then I'll clean everything up with the beauty blender. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of the green and I'm not going to blend it out with my beauty blender because I just wiped it away. What I do like so far about this is that it is a thin product. So normally I just stick away from cream products because I just feel like really cakey on my face but it is really lightweight. To top everything off with foundation, I'm using the Weightless Naked Foundation from Urban Decay and just an e.l.f. foundation brush. This foundation is so lightweight that when I use it with my beauty blender, I end up wasting a lot of product. So I'm just going to use it with a brush. So I swatched the two concealer colors and they are a little bit dark. One's a little peachy and one's more pink. I'm going to mix the yellow and the peach together. A little bit and put that under my eyes I might go in with another concealer but I just want to see how this works yeah I think I just want more of the yellow I think I'll just do this right under my eyes and then I'm gonna go in with a brightening concealer highlighting concealer and do like the big triangle This palette was beautiful like five minutes ago and now it's just a hot mess. <laughs> but this is my fault for mixing. <laughs> so the first I'm pretty much done and I'm not going to need too much more. I'm going to use a little bit right here. But it's definitely working really nicely. I just always gravitate towards liquid concealers. But this is such a creamy concealer that it blends out like my MAC Pro long wear or something. I'm just using my Beauty Blender in the yellow shade and I'm gonna go back and highlight. The yellow shade so far has been working better, but if you do have a darker skin tone, you can mix those two together. And it's actually works out really well. Like they blend together easily and it's not too thick. So the coverage is actually really good. The only problem I see now, it is creasing a little bit under my fine lines. And most thicker concealers do that anyways. So I'm going to set my under eyes and then I'm going to go ahead and contour out my cheekbones. Going in with a dark shade for contouring, I'm going to contour out my nose. And I usually do cream contouring for my nose anyways. Just using a concealer brush. This is a lot of product I picked up, so... Okay, I'm just going to leave everything in place and I'm going to carve out my cheekbones. Pretty much everywhere I normally contour, I am a little nervous that I might be putting on a lot because I'm not used to this amount of pigmentation because I do cream contouring in my nose, but everything else is always powder and that you can build up. So I'm just going to go back and forth between blending everything out with a beauty blender and then the e.l.f. small stippling brush. So the contour blended out to look really natural so I'm going to go ahead and add pretty much a second layer or just like a little bit more because I was going to go in with a powder on top but I just want to do the cream so you guys can see the full effect.
getting really excited because I really like this. I've never done full contouring with just cream. I do use the Tarte um, Sculptor Pen for my nose and a little bit on my cheekbones, but I've never, I always go in with powder afterwards. I've never used this much cream on my face, and I think it looks really good. I think it looks the same as when I do cream and then powder. So I'm just going to go in with a highlighting shade again, and I'm just using that pretty much down the center of my face a little bit more and on my cheekbones. I did it before I applied my foundation, but I just want to go in a little bit more precise before I was just kind of playing and putting everything on my face. I'm going to go ahead and set everything with powder, do blush, highlight, and just a lip color, and then I'll be right back. My overall impression is that this palette is absolutely amazing, and like I said before, I'm not someone who really likes to use cream contouring products. I definitely prefer powder products, so using all cream products for the first time on my face for correcting and contouring and highlighting was definitely pretty easy to use. I thought it was going to be a little bit more complicated than it was. And I really think the trick with cream products is just their blendability and how you can kind of disguise the look of like an overly contoured face and just make it look a little bit more natural, especially when you're using like green and orange and stuff on your face. As long as you can blend that all in and it looks really neutral, then it's going to look good versus just looking like you really fakely contoured your face. So this is awesome because it is super pigmented, but it's so easy to blend out. Definitely didn't need to go in with two coats, I guess. It's like nail polish, like two layers of contouring, but I was just kind of skeptical when I applied the first layer and I could have just done a lot more to begin with and it would have blended out fine. The formula is definitely perfect and this palette is $45 and I do think it's worth it. One side I would say about this palette is that I wish the concealer shades were different. I think they're very similar and they're very dark so I wish I had a lighter shade in there. I thought that I would want more variety with the contouring shade but this contouring shade is absolutely perfect. I definitely don't need a second one in this palette because this is definitely going to be a go-to. And I think the green corrector works really nicely. I've never used a green corrector before. So I definitely love the formula. It's $45 and it's definitely worth it. So overall, I do really like this palette. I do recommend it. It is worth the price and really easy to use. So if you're interested in picking it up or anything from the Rainforest of the Sea collection, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you soon in my next video.